Hi, my name is Jay Harris, and I'm president of Infinity Box. And we're introducing a new video series showing you step by step how we're going to wire this 1979 CJ7 with our Infinity Box system. We're going to take you through the process and show you the simplicity of wiring with the Infinity Box system, but also the power and the flexibility you can get by putting our system in your Pro Touring build, your street rod, your hot rod, your race car, even your kit car. So we're going to take you through that process step by step. Now we picked this CJ7 for a couple reasons. First off, I love Jeeps. I think there's just a utilitarian part of them that appeals to me. But also, this is a really simple truck. There's not a lot going on in here electrically. But because it is so simple, we're going to show you that no matter what you're building, from the simplest build to the most complicated build, you're going to benefit by wiring your car or truck with our Infinity Box system. Mechanically, it's in great shape. There's not a lick of rust on the body or the chassis. It's got a really well-built Chevy 350 in it. The suspension is just how I like it in terms of ride height. But electrically, it's a basket case. You can tell over the years that different owners have hacked into the wiring harness. They've added things. They've subtracted things. They're wires that we don't know what they were supposed to do or where they go. So we're taking this as an opportunity to do a complete, clean slate wiring job on this Jeep. We're going to take out the entire wiring harness and start from scratch. So we're going to do this in three phases. In the first phase, we're going to install our 20-circuit kit with our in-reserve battery management system and in-link. And you're going to learn step-by-step step how to install those products and how to wire your car or truck with those products. At the end of the first phase, whatever you learn in that video series is going to be ap applicable to whatever you're building whether it's a street rod, or a hot rod, or a pro touring build, or a kit car, or a race car, what you learn here on the Jeep is going to apply to what you're building. In the second phase of this video series, we're going to add power locks and power windows to this. So we're going to put our in-motion motor control in the Jeep, and we're doing that because this is going to be a daily driver. And then the last phase, we're really going to trick out the Jeep. We're going to add our in-touch net system to this, so we can control it from a smartphone or a tablet, we're going to add trail lights. We're going to add a lot of other electrical things to show you how far you can take your build with the Infinity Box system. So stay tuned for more. Be sure to click the bell icon to get notified as we add more videos to the series. And if you want to learn more right now, you can visit our website at www.infinitybox.com, or you can call our tech support team at 847-232-1991. Stay tuned, and thanks for watching.